Welcome back to the Names of God study. And today we are covering Elohe Mautsi, which is my God, who is my strength. My God, who is my strength. Praise the Lord. Um, I've got a couple scriptures for you here. We're going to start off with um, Psalms 43, 2. My God, who is my strength, the strong one wants to make us strong. So it's not just that he that he gives us strength, but that he is my strength. Okay, so you don't have to conjure up the strength. God is your strength. Amen. We've got someone joining us today. We've got sweet Abigail Bella, and she's joining in today on our Names of God study. Praise the Lord. Abigail Bella, would you like to say hello to everyone? Hi. Praise the Lord. So, yes, she's going to go ahead and join us today. Um, Elohe Mautsi, my God, who is my strength. So we know that God gives us strength, We right? We, we know that he gives us strength. But the one of the neat revelation about this whole name of God, Elohe Mautsi, is not only does he give us strength, but he is our strength. So in other words, as you're praying, Lord, I thank you for giving me strength. I thank you, Lord. I'm strong in the Lord and the power of your mind. You know, we're praying and we know that God gives us strength, but we are literally going on his strength. So it's not only that he gives us strength, right? But he is our strength. He's your strength. So you're going on his strength, not just the strength that he gives you, but his strength. What kind of strength is that? Well, that's the, the power. That, that, that's creative power. Like we're talking about the creator, the one who created heaven and earth. We're talking about the creator, right? He has given us his strength. So therefore, yes, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. me. Right? Abigail, would you like to tell them that scripture and tell them where it's found, please? Philippians 4.13. Philippians 4.13. Right, exactly. Sid, can you give them the whole scripture, please? Wait. I can do. I can do all things through Christ, through strength in me. Philippians 4.13. That's right. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, so in Psalm 43 and in verse 2, this is what it says. It says, for you are the God of my strength. You are the God of my strength. God is your strength. If you're a believer in Christ, you are the, his word says, for you, for he, for you are the God of my strength. Does it, it's, it's deeper than just God giving you strength. He is your strength. You are relying upon, you are clinging to, you are holding on the strength of God, not just the strength that he gives you, but the strength of God. Let me tell you, as God gives you revelation as to what I'm saying here today, this is a, it's a, it turns your life around because when you feel weak, you know that you are strong in him, right? We know that, that he gives strength to the weary and he increases power to the weak. And this is Isaiah 40 and in verse 29 and in verse 31, this is what it says. Isaiah 40, 29 and 31. It says he gives strength to the weary and he increases power to the weak. Hallelujah. Whenever you feel weary, right? Whenever you feel weak, the Bible says, God's word says, and his word never returns unto us void. He gives strength to the weary and he increases power to the weak and those he says but those who wait upon the lord when you wait you hope to wait is to hope when and so for those who wait upon the lord he shall renew your strength and he doesn't just renew your strength just a little bit the bible says he shall renew your strength so that you shall mount up you shall mount up upon wings of like the eagles you shall mount up with wings like eagles you shall run and not be weary and you shall walk and not faint hallelujah glory to god isn't that awesome amen abigail i want you to start thinking about and mama's online today too isn't that awesome say hello mama hello mama <laughs> mama's online she's watching praise god she's going to work she's watching online and she sees her little baby girl and she sees her so what would you like to say abigail to all of these amazing um, lovers of Jesus that are online listening to this Bible study. I want you to be asking the Lord what you can share with them, okay? Maybe it's a scripture that comes to mind. 
All right. Will you do that right now? Will you think and ask Jesus, what scripture should I be sharing with everyone today? Okay. You tell me when you're ready. Yeah. Are you ready now? Yeah. Not yet. A little too soon. Okay. So you go ahead. I'm going to give you a minute and I want you to be thinking about, you know, a scripture that you feel is going to bless them because you know, God's spoken this right now. Amen. 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 All right. Amen. So I love this scripture and I love this name of God. It's my God who is my strength. Elohe Mautzi. This, that's that's the, the Hebrew pronunciation for it. Um, but it's what it means is my God who is my strength. Anytime that you feel weak, anytime you feel like, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I can go one more day. I don't, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, you know, you literally feel the, the weight, the, um, the pressure. You, we have to know that we know that we know our God is giving us strength, but not only does he give us strength, he is, he is our strength. Glory to God. The blessings of the Lord will overwhelm you and overtake you, church of God. You are more than able because Christ in you. So therefore, he says in his word, just be strong, be of good courage. He, Because he's with you everywhere you go. Amen. He is with you. Glory to God. Okay, Abigail, I want you to, I want you to go ahead and focus on the camera. All right, let's put that down for a second. Let's focus on the camera. Now, I, I want you to go ahead and say, Jesus, you know, what scripture, what, what can I bless them with? What is it that they need to hear? Because we need to hear from the Lord. And I know many times God uses you and he uses children all the time. So are you ready to give them a scripture? Wonderful. Go ahead and share it with them. I will hide God's word in my heart so I will not sin against him. That's Psalm, one that's Psalm 119. Psalm 119. I will hide God's word in my heart so that I will not sin against you. That's what she just gave, and it's it's found in Psalm 119. Um, awesome. Awesome. Abigail, can you explain to everybody what that means? Like, what does that mean? What is, what is the Lord shown you or what have you learned about that scripture? What does it mean to hide God's word in our heart? It means that you will never sin against him if you hide God's word in your heart. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, what you mean, I think what you're saying, let me, let me, is this what you're saying? That even though sometimes we do sin, but yet if we hide God's word in our heart, we're going to sin less and less. We're because, because of the conviction that we get from the Holy Spirit. Like he'll give us that inner knowing, oh, that's wrong. You know, oh, we don't want to do that. Right. Because his word is a, will be alive in us. Isn't that true? And that is such a great verse. Thank you so much for sharing that verse. I know that that blesses people so much. Amen. Out of the mouth of babes. That's right, Tamara. Yeah, exactly. Out of the mouth of babes. Um, Psalm 119. Yes, praise the Lord. So when we hide God's word in our heart, then we will not sin against him. Um, and, you know, that is such a precious, uh, incredible scripture. Um, and that's the heart of God, that we literally have the word of God stirring within us. We plant that word within us. That's what we do, you know, morning by morning. When we gather together, we go through the word of God because we know that the word of God is literally illuminating our lives. It's it's giving us that hope. It gives us strength. It, it, it gives you that life that, you know, that you go on and you go, you know what? I can because Christ in me, he is the hope of my glory. I can, and, and of the glory of God, that is. I can because of Christ. And so, yeah, that's a powerful scripture, and I'm so glad that you shared that with everybody. Praise God. Let's go ahead and pray. Um, and Abby, I want you to pray as well, okay? Let's pray for those that are online and, and would like prayer today. Praise the Lord. You know, we've gone through, let me, before we pray, I want to just in, interject this. So we have gone now uh, weeks for weeks, you know, and we've been on the study 
of the names of God. We have studied so many of the names of God and it's been really incredible. It's been wonderful. I have learned so much and I have, my own prayer life has been so enriched just by um, understanding some of these names of God that weren't so common before. Like they weren't, I had never even heard of some of them. I know you had never even heard of some of them because you've told me that. Um, but, but they're so powerful, they're so rich. So there's been such a depth of learning and I've so appreciated just the spirit of God just leading in this direction and, um, and bringing this to light. So we've gone through a lot of the names of God. You know that there are more, like there are still more names of God to be explored. Like, you know, you know, some people go, yeah, there's 21 names of God. No, there are so many more names of God. There's a lot of them. And so we've gone through some of them and it has been incredible. It really has been a, an incredible rich time of study. Like I told you before, you can find them all. They're all on my website under that channel, Names of God. So they're there if you need to re and would like to rewatch them. But there are more. There are more names of God. So we are going to hit a few more. We're going we're gonna to cover a few more of the names and then we're going to switch the study to a different study and the next topic so in the, you know within the next probably week um we're gonna then shift and our focus will be on um the names of jesus okay so we're gonna go to from the names of god we're gonna then go and study the names of jesus so that'll be coming up here in, in just a few days. Um, we've got a couple more names of God that I want to cover, and then we're going to go on. So praise God. I just want to give you that heads up so that you all are aware and you know. Um, so we're going to go ahead and pray for those that are online. Abigail, I would love for you to um, be a part and help us to pray. Would you like to do that with us, please? We're going to go ahead and start praying. So let's start praying in the spirit for a moment, okay? Okay, we're going to pray in the spirit. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. We give you the glory and the praise, Father. We give you the glory and the praise. Hallelujah. Okay, pray a little louder, baby girl. We're going to, we're coming in agreement right now. Let me let's hold your hand. We're praying for the people that God has put online. We're praying for the people that are going to watch the replay as well. Thank you, Father. Lord, we are coming in agreement right now. Yes, Father God, that every single one of them, Lord God, we decree right now the life of Christ, Lord God, the strength of God, even as we covered this name here today. Um, we covered this name, Jehovah, I'm sorry, Elohe Mahutzi, the my God who is my strength. Father God, my God, you are our strength. Not only do you give us strength, but you are our strength. When we are weak, we are strong in you. So, Father, right now, we just lift them up. I thank you, Lord God, that as they, they look to you, the author and the perfecter of their faith, Father, that you are showing them, Lord God, exactly what they need to do, Lord God. I thank you that no weapon formed against them can prosper. I thank you that even as Abigail Bella has already spoken lord god that as we hide god's word in our hearts that we shall not sin against you so father i thank you your word has been hidden in our hearts and as it as it is hidden in our hearts lord god we have your wisdom your revelation lord god that we would please you lord god and that's our heart always always thank you father you are our strength praise you lord would you like to pray abby go ahead and pray for some of them i know some of them are are needing prayer for healing would you like to pray for healing, please? Go ahead. You got to pray loud, though, baby. Okay, here, I'll give you one. Okay. Um, her name is Yolanda, and she's praying for her granddaughter, Aubrey. And she's, there's an, there's an illness that the doctors cannot, they can't find, and it has to do with her, her ability to breathe. Can you pray for that her breathing is healed for Aubrey? Go ahead. Thank you. Gotta be a little louder, baby, because I can't hear you. Thank you, Jesus, that you will heal Aubrey. Aubrey to breathe more and more every day. We hope it heals just one day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So she, thank you, Father. I'm just in agreement with Abigail. She says, we hope that it heals in one day. And so, Father, I'm in total agreement. Thank you, Father, for Abigail's prayer. And we come in agreement. We decree over Aubrey that she is healed and whole. And this, this illness that she is fighting regarding her lungs and asthma and an infection, 
Father, we rebuke that devil's assignment right now. We command that spirit of illness and affliction to be removed from her in the name of Jesus. Father, the doctors can't even find what's going on, and she is going to urgent care. In the name of Jesus, we decree right now total, complete turnaround, healed and whole. Lungs be healed right now. Lungs be healed. Respiratory um, system be healed in the name of Jesus. Every place of infection, we command you to leave out of Aubrey's life right now. Thank you, Father, out of her heart, out of her out of her respiratory system, out of her lungs, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, her, her respiratory system healed in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Lord, I bless each and every one of them online today. I thank you, Father God. Oh, Oh, you know the, the little girl you just prayed for, Abigail? She's six years old and she loves Jesus just like you. Now, Abby's five years old, but this little girl you just prayed for, she's six. She's just one year older than you. Praise God. You're going to be six in, in the summer. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Spine. Okay, Tamara says, will you please pray for healing for my spine? where I have the metal rods. So Father, we lift up Tamara right now and we speak over her spine, total complete healing and wholeness. Father God, Lord, any limitation, we just command it to be removed. Lord, every diagnosis the doctors have pronounced over her where it's um, permanent, you know, illness and and um, and just, just permanent problems, we just rebuke it right now and say it has to go in the name of Jesus. We command that assignment of the enemy literally 100 percent dissolved in jesus name up and out up and out spine be healed spine be healed even the metal rods father god i thank you for you can even dissolve the metal rods lord god if necessary but we decree over her spine healing and wholeness lord in the inflammation we command it to go every place Lord, a creative miracle lord god that you elongate the spine lord god and could create soft tissue cousin janet cancer Okay, Karen, we lift her up. We just speak life, 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 life. Deborah, okay, flu need, flu symptoms, life, healing in Jesus' name. Dana, spinal attacks, legs. Okay, please pray. Okay. Yes, thank you, Father. We I lift, I lift you up right now. Yeah, spinal attacks, legs, all bone issues, all nervous system issues. We just command right now that all of them right now complete turnaround. Let the anointing of God, the power of God, come upon you and be healed right now in Jesus' name. Nan, we pray for your stomach lining and your nervous system. I speak peace over you right now. Speak the peace of God. Father, I thank you supernaturally, Lord God, that you give her the peace of God regardless of what is going on, Lord, even all around her. <coughs> Excuse me. The peace of God. I thank you, Father, for Margie, for her back. Lord, I thank you, Lord God, backs being healed. Let all the pain, all the pressure be removed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Even as we're praying, okay, and you, you can write down your... Um, uh, victory your your praise report write it down in the chat bar and if you're not able to write it in the chat bar because maybe you recognize it later on um, send me an email I just received an email today somebody that came to the ministry and um, received an incredible healing and she, they e she emailed it to to me and that was you know what what a beautiful thing to wake up go to my in my inbox and in my email and read this incredible um, testimony and, um, and, and she said, you know, she had before and after um, test results to prove that she was healed. So um, it was incredible. So, um, so yes, you can, you can either put it right there in the chat bar or you can always email it. Teresa says, please pray for her tailbone, excruciating pain, excruciating pain. Okay, so her tailbone, Abigail, it's like right here, super low. Right, that's where her. That's I know. This is <laughs> no, not. And so, so this is where the pain is for Teresa. You know Teresa. She's the one that comes to church, and she's got long, um, black curly hair. She's got amazing, beautiful blue eyes. I, you you know her. When you see her, you'll know who she is. Okay, so let's pray for Teresa right now. Okay, for that excruciating um, pain in her tailbone. Father God, 
Oh, I thank you right now, Lord. Just pray in the spirit with me, baby. We rebuke every assignment of the enemy right now. We command right now every demonic assignment to be removed from her tailbone right now. Your word says, Father, in the name of Jesus, you said when two, two or three come together in agreement, Lord God, that we can pray, we can ask, we believe and receive according to your word. Father, we are, me and Abigail are too, but Lord God, there are so many more that are even praying in agreement. And so we thank you, Lord God. Father, we thank you that what you said in your word is going to come to pass. And you said you are the healer. You said that, Lord, by your stripes, we are healed. So we apply that word right now over Teresa's back, over her tailbone. Thank you, Father God. We decree healing over her right now. And the Lord will say no weapon formed against her can prosper. Thank you, Father God, that pain leave right now. Lord, I thank you for correcting whatever it is that's going on in her back in her spine and her tailbone lord in her skeletal skeletal system whatever is going on i thank you lord god you are the healer we rebuke every demonic assignment every generational curse of pain of sickness of disease we command it to be removed now in jesus name hallelujah amen amen thank you karen yes we're all in agreement all right, beautiful people in the Lord. I need to go because I've got to get this little one to school. But I love you all. I'll see you on Saturday, those that can join, whether in person or online at the House of Glory, um, Saturday at 6. Otherwise, I'll see you on Monday morning at 7 a.m. Pray Pacific Standard Time. Please pray for travel, traveling mercies. Amen. Everywhere you go and you are surrounded by the presence of our living Savior. You are surrounded. His blood, oh, hallelujah, surrounds you. He covers you. You're surrounded and protected when you go in and when you go out. In the name of Jesus. God bless you all, and we'll see you soon. Amen. Say bye-bye to everybody. Bye-bye.